G'day everyone and welcome back to another video. So I recently come across this video on YouTube and it talks about how the Ford Ranger MT82 six speed has a 100% failure rate. Now, I don't know if I completely agree with this video because my Ford Ranger with the MT82 has done nearly 375,000 kilometers and it has had zero issues so far. Now, I use it for towing, I tow cars with it, I tow trailers with it, I use it for work purposes, so it has had its fair share of use. And I've had and zero issues with it so far. So I'm gonna roll this clip, let me know your thoughts in the comments if you do own an MT82 Ranger and if you've had any of these issues that they talk about in this video. Everywhere you go now, on the roads, in the bush, you see Ford Rangers, Mazda BT50s. They just seem to be everywhere, big competition for the Hiluxes. Now these vehicles have an awesome six speed, German engineered, fifth gear one to one, so you can tow in fifth, awesome. Only problem is they're built with inferior bearings right off the bat. So unfortunately, it's not a matter of if they're going to fail, it's a matter of when they're gonna fail. So pretty under engineered, right Brian? Very much so. So as I mentioned earlier, nearly 375,000 kilometers on mine, all original, never opened, and I'm still waiting for it to fail. So these are the main gears. This is your main shaft and your input shaft, and this is your cluster shaft. This is your culprit, your main culprit of failing, your front cluster bearing. This is the input shaft bearing, another culprit of failing. Now the cause of failure is it usually goes through the hardening, correct Brian? Yes. When we say that the bearings go through the hardening, what that means is the bearings deteriorating. There's two main symptoms. One is oil and the other is noise. So they mentioned that the bearing wears through the hardening. Now, my understanding is this can only happen due to lack of lubrication. So if the oil breaks down and doesn't lubricate anymore, that's the only time when it's gonna actually wear through the hardening. If it's got proper lubrication, there's always a film of oil there that's preventing that from happening. If you're worried about your gearbox and it's noisy, first thing to do is do an oil change. Drop the oil into a container and have a look at that oil. I personally don't think a gearbox oil change is gonna do much. If your gearbox is noisy, it's pretty much gone already, so you can change the oil. You can put a thicker oil in and do whatever, but I don't think it's gonna do anything. The noise is still gonna be there. The damage has already been done, and it's pretty much toast. Is it metal contaminated? If you have metal in your oil, you have a problem. This gearbox, obviously, for the BT50 and the Ford Ranger, we see these as early as 40,000 Ks, Brian. Very much so. However, the average breakdown is usually between 80 to 120,000 kilometres. As I mentioned earlier, I'm on nearly 375,000 kilometres and I've had zero issues. No bearing noise, no crunching in between gears or anything like that. It is working perfectly. I don't know, maybe I've just got a unicorn, but yeah, it's been flawless. A result of a degrading bearing, if you leave it too long, you will break gears. Unfortunately, these are not the only problems with this gearbox. It has another problem, not as common, but we do see it a fair bit, where it spits the front plug out the front of the gearbox. Now this can cause damage to the bell housing. It can oil soak your clutch, and it can even cause your gearbox to run out of oil. So I've got zero leaks with mine. There's no oil coming out of anywhere that it shouldn't. With the clutch, I haven't even replaced the clutch since I've owned it, and I've done 200,000 kilometers with it. So, yeah, it's been performing flawlessly in that aspect as well. Brian actually loses sleep trying to work out how he can better these gearboxes and what he can design to make these last longer. Needless to say, upgraded bearings, the first stop, but there's a lot more we can do to strengthen this gear train. So let me know in the comments if you've had these issues with your MT82 six-speed Ranger. With anything, I believe maintenance is key. You gotta really be changing the fluid every 100,000 kilometers and using the specific fluid that Ford recommends. So yeah, drop a comment. Let me know if you've had these issues. I didn't know there's such problems with these gearboxes. Uh, Cause like I said, personally, I've had zero of these issues. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. See you guys on the next one.